And by the way, we are giving the cliff notes on who you should play and why. Our DFS expert, J.J. Zacharyson, is here with us in his top three value running backs. J.J., who do you like here in Week 11? Yeah, my number three value running back this week is someone who's stepping in for an injured Devontae Freeman, and that's Brian Hill. Uh, last week, even with Devontae Freeman playing some snaps in that game before being injured, Brian Hill saw 64.5% of Atlanta's running back rushes. He had a 6% target share. Pretty strong numbers. And in this game, in a higher scoring game, uh, he gets a Carolina defense that's allowed the third most fantasy points to opposing running backs. So I like Brian Hill. My number two value this week Tevin Coleman, if you look at this San Francisco and Arizona game, San Francisco is a big favorite, which could favor Tevin Coleman seeing a little bit more volume than usual. And that's on top of Matt Breida being a little bit banged up. Since Tevin Coleman's return from injury in week five, he ranks 10th in the NFL in goal line rushes as well. So there's some touchdown upside for Tevin Coleman. I like him in his price point. But my number one value, I'm going to go back to Leonard Fournette. The main reason he's priced where he's priced is because he can't find the end zone. He's only scored once this year. But based on his yardage totals, and yards do correlate strongly to touchdowns, based on that yardage total, he should have more than six more touchdowns than he currently has. So there's positive touchdown regression coming for Leonard Fournette. He's seeing a ton of volume. He has 90% of Jacksonville's running back rushes, a 17% target share. Just regardless of the matchup, he has a high floor week in and week out. But if he finds the end zone, he's going to way, way overperform that current price tag.